Hey everyone, it's Gemma Chappy Plants. Thanks for joining me for this December daily video. Today I'm going to be sharing stories number 13 and 14 um, and possibly 15 or I might just come back at the end and show it to you so that I have the first volume out of two volumes for December daily because I do two albums um, at the end. So if you'd like to see what I'm going to do, stick around. <music> friends, it's Gem with Chappie Plans. I hope you guys are having a great start to your new year. I realize it's January and I'm only on story 13, but that's just the way it goes. I was not planning on being completely bedridden for over a week. So, um, you know, it is what it is. I'm going to continue sharing my content if you guys still want to see it. Otherwise, I can just put it together off camera and then come back at the end and show you like the completed projects. Um, you'll have to let me know in the comments what you think. But today I'm going to be working on stories 13 and 14. And story 13, I want it is very simple story, so I wanted to do a little bit of extra embellishing. This is what I'm thinking for the front. I'm not sure if I'm going to do this green chipboard or not, um, or if it's even going to be this piece. I've just kind of been playing. Um, but this is going to be a story of our matching pajamas. I had originally printed out the photo on um, Epson photo no epson presentation paper but i don't like the way it came out so i went back to my good old hp glossy photo paper and if you don't mind the gloss i think it's a much better quality in my opinion i don't know if i'm doing something wrong with the presentation paper but i'm not going to be using that so i printed it out it got all jacked up here but it's fine on um, this huge eight and a half by 11 piece and i'm going to trim it down um so that it fits on the back of this heart and then my idea was to put a tag hanging down on this side that has several layers. I love tags. This is that's kind of the, the ongoing theme. Um, this came from a four by six card in one of the stories by the month, I think, from Allie Edwards. And so this tag came with, um, I'm not sure if it was part of the main kit or not this year, but this is from my subscription kit. And I'm going to trim it so that it's the same size as this vellum one and that's just going to overlay i think it might be a layer and then i also have this plastic paper that i have from heidi swap and i got this idea because i picked up these tags um, right here at the craft store and they're obviously too small for what i want so i thought let me try to recreate that with the plastic paper that i have and um, it's really just really thick plastic. And I'm gonna put a tag over it probably and maybe figure out a way, maybe I'll put the number on there because this is story 13. I also want to include this tag that came from the pajamas. So, um, and they are Mickey themed, if you can see they're Christmas, but Mickey, because we are going to Disney in January, so we wanted to have the matching jammies be special. Um, and I also thought about adding some texture on the front of that clear plastic paper um, using this stencil and some texture paste. So I don't really know. Um, we're, I'm just gonna put you guys on fast forward and um, do my voiceover and see what happens. So uh, let's go, let's go. So the first thing I'm going to do is figure out how I want to lay this out on the front. It's going to be very simple. I did, I have a tendency to over embellish and to over decorate and all that kind of stuff. Like <laughs> my friend Jenny Garcia and I, we call it sticker sneezing and over embellishing. And that's just what we normally do. But in this case, I wanted to keep it so sort of simple. Um, so I just glued down or taped down the Joy die cut and instead of doing different colored stars, I was gonna do green and cream, but I kept it just to the cream. And I love this smart glue. It's from scrapbook.com. I really, really like it. Um, that and probably my like Tombow Aqua Mono glue or whatever it's called, That's those are like my favorites. 
Um, so yeah, the front of this, I didn't even end up putting a green chipboard. At the very end, I will come back and add some gold stickers from the main kit um, just to tie in the gold, the gold on um, the die cut and that I use on the back of this heart. So what I'm doing to make sure that I have this oriented the correct way, since I don't have like Photoshop or anything, I'm just taking last year's heart-shaped die cut, which is the same, and flipping it over and using um, just that little like all tool, that pointy tool, to trace around the picture. So I like get a little excited and I, I start to tape put tape on the back, but I, <laughs> I didn't need to do that yet because I wasn't finished with the front and I wasn't finished with the tag and I wanted to make sure that I had a way to adhere the tag without um, having already taped down the back side. So I trimmed the tag uh, to fit the vellum tag and punched a hole. Um, and then I do end up trimming that down even more uh, so that it fits without hanging over the back side of the heart. You'll see that in a minute. Right now, I'm going to line up my plastic paper and my stencil. And I have this silicone mat that's super easy to clean up. Love it. And I'm going to take my Ranger texture paste and just um, play until I think that the consistency and thickness is... Uh, what I want on the tag. I like them to be a little thick. I think less is more. I think you have less um, unevenness when you are more conservative with your application of this material, but I have a heavy hand in most things. <laughs> so it is what it is. It took a little while to dry, um, but that's okay. I really do like the way it turned out and how it looks. So now I'm going to tape this um, ephemera on the back of the tag. And then I gotta figure out what I wanna do exactly with this whole layered tag situation. <laughs> so I am going to do some journaling and figure out how I wanna attach the tag to the photo. I actually hole punch wrong so that's going to be a little bit of an eyesore when you flip over the uh, paper but it's it's busy enough that like I mean you can tell but it's not like completely distracting so um I decide to use my gold star brads from Michaels to um, adhere the tag to the photo and this is where I'm going to trim it down a little bit so that it doesn't overhang the part of the heart there so then I figure out where I want to place the tag once I have it trimmed down to size and I'm going to attach it to the back of this photo. And then I need to trim down the plastic that I um, created with the texture paste. I'm just making sure it's dry. Uh, regular scissors didn't really do it for me. I had to use my Tim Holtz scissors, which were perfect and cut through the plastic like butter. Then I just punch a hole in it with my crocodile and, um, is it a crocodile? Is that what it's called? I don't even know. My We Are Memory Keepers a hole punch tool. <laughs> and then, um, once I like the way, you know, it looks, I'm going to be able to attach it to the photo. I did not like the number 13 over the um, tag, so I decided to put it on the front. And I'm just trying to figure out how I want it to look and where I want it to lay. I don't love the wood, so I end up using the puffy gold numbers. And then I'm gonna take this trim that I got and use some uh, eighth inch red line tape, or maybe it's quarter inch red line tape, um, to adhere that all around the heart, over most of the heart, not the entire portion. Obviously the side that is um, hole punched, I don't add the trim to, but just the other portions of the border. I do edit out some of that so you don't have to watch me try to peel up the plastic from the top of the tape. It's like the bane of our existence, right? As, as uh, crafters, <laughs> it's just, it's always a thing. And then to um, make sure that it stays down and it doesn't fray, I just added a little bit of that smart glue that I love so much. And that's basically what it's going to look like 
um, on the back side. And then I want to add a little bit more. I thought, oh, it needs a bit of a title, even though it's obvious what it is. But um, I ended up, I do my journaling, um, which basically just says holiday Mickey. I lettered with this Tambo Funosuke brush pen. And then I wrote this year, we chose these adorable Mickey Christmas pajamas from Old Navy. They were perfect since we're going to Disney World in January. I love this. And then I take some teeny tiny gold glitter alphas that are very sticky and awesome from um, Michael's to spell out matching jammies on the back. Oh, and here's where you can really see that I punched the holes wrong. You see the white underneath? <laughs> That's where I originally punched the holes. Again, it's not terrible. Um, you know, it could be worse. I decided to put a 13 on the back as well on that top of that white star. And then I decide that it needs a little something extra. So I use these gold stickers um, from the main kit just to add a few more stars. Hearts and stars, that's what it is. And that's basically going to be it for story 13. Pretty simple. Um, I love the addition of the texture paste. I think it adds a little bit of elevated technique, even though it's a simple story. Here I've slowed down the camera to real time so you can see what it looks like and how it functions. I love the way it turned out, and now I'm going to move on to story number 14, which I do not film all of because otherwise we'd be here all day. But for this one, I'm going to, um, and I figured this out as I went, and I got a lot of help from my friends. Kim has plans and um, Nolana Lynch. Uh, Neelan has a plan. Um, they helped me kind of figure out how to uh, f make sure that I adhered the vellum to the pattern paper without it being super obvious. So what you see me doing here is showing you an example of, you know, trimming out the vellum, um, adding, punching out the star so that I can make sure that this top tag goes through the star. And in the end, I ended up putting the brad through the pattern paper behind it as well so that it sticks down. But you can see sort of that's the example. Um, and then anywhere that didn't have a flip up for a photo or the journaling, I put some embellishments on the top of the vellum and that was how I made sure that the vellum stuck to the pattern paper without the adhesive being visible. Hopefully that makes sense. And if you have any questions, definitely let me know, but you can see here what I did, you know, trimmed off the tag, put the photo behind it, taped it down, and so on and so forth. And then I decided to use some word phrase stickers just to embellish a little bit on each of the photos, just some really simple phrases. So I've got merry and bright. I've got um, celebrating lights, which I combined two different um, words, celebrating and lights, and I thought that was perfect. I have magic. I have um, this memory. I have twinkle and celebrate. And then the journaling, which is underneath the um, thick chipboard joy tag says, uh, we, or it's not there yet, but it will be. We have been going to the quick response light show since you were three. It only takes a few minutes to drive through. We wear our PJs and bring hot cocoa. Your first word was light and your name means light of the father. So it makes sense why you love it so much. So then you can see that I've got all the photos in the cardstock pattern paper, and then I put the vellum over top, and voila, the magic of editing. I have completed the way it's going to look. So I'm showing you in real time how I've embellished it with some chipboard. I wanted to stick with all chipboard, so I did the chipboard heart, the chipboard tags, and then a green chipboard phrase. The only thing that's not chipboard is that little Just Believe um, sticker from Tim Holtz and then I used some red twine to make it look even though it's not really there for function like I have the tag tied at the top and that is going to be it for this story of going to see our Christmas lights every year. Now I'm going to work on the last story which is 15 and I ended up deciding to use this red and green transparency to cover the back of the um, last story and I love this pattern and I wanted to hoard it but I made myself use it so yay me um, and then to um, kind of fill in that space there I added this gold trim from May Arts and then I um, I'm going to use some red line tape to adhere the other sides of 
the transparency to the back. And then I want to figure out how to embellish it. And I do add as I go, I kind of go back and forth between, you know, the left side of the page and the right side of the page. So this side of the page for story 15 is really more just like a decorative page. It doesn't really serve a purpose other than covering up the different flaps and cutouts and taped photos that are on the back of story 14. So I'm really glad that I was able to um, tell this story. I wasn't sure if it was going to happen or not because my friend Linda, Linda Loves Creating, I'm sure you all know her. She's absolutely amazing, talented crafter, memory keeper, all the things, um, planner. She and I were able to meet for brunch, which we were originally scheduled to do on the 8th, but due to my, um, if you've been following my December Daily or even like my Project Life videos, then you know already that I almost... Um, had a cardiac event due to like a reaction, allergic reaction that I had on the way back from seeing the Rockettes. So truly a Bah Humbug story, which is uh, one of the stories I documented already in this album. But uh, this was my first day actually being able to go out and <laughs> leave the house and wear clothes and um, put makeup on. And it was just like the best because of all of that. But then the fact that I got to go out and like be social after being bedridden for over a week was just like it felt like the best thing ever I realized how much I took for granted um so that is the story I'm telling for um this uh this layout and for um consistency purposes and to make it you know kind of obvious to whoever's looking through this album that these two pages go together I decided to use the trim on the right side um of this page protector I've already printed out my photos as you can see so uh the I just use HP um photo paper from I just get it at Walmart um and so the picture that I used at the top is the selfie that we took in the bookstore and then I have um, a couple two by two photos to fit in the squares at the bottom. So I ended up finding stock photos on the internet of um, the sign of the place we got brunch, the whistling kettle, and then the bookstore that we stopped in while we were kind of um, walking around chatting and browsing um, my local downtown area. And so, yeah, you see me, um, I've just been like kind of looking for numbers, what numbers I want to use. I was going to put a big number 15 on the left, but I ended up deciding against that because I went through some other embellishments and decided I really um, wanted to do felt embellishments. I've been wanting to use my uh, felt stars and trees. And so I end up using those um, to fill in the spaces on the right side of the page in the empty little two by two squares that aren't going to have photos. Um, so right now I'm just kind of playing around and, and trying to figure out what I want to do. So I love this big December people and places and things. I love that it's gold. So it brings in some gold and uh, it's really large. So it's going to work perfectly to kind of take up space here and sort of cover up some of the cut marks on the back of the pattern paper where I added the photos in story 14. So I'm going to tape that down and then um, I decide to move these teeny tiny felt numbers that are actually stickers from Dollar Tree uh, to the right side. And that's when I'm like, oh, I know I can pick one felt um, embellishment to go in each of these or on top of each of these squares that are blank and then fill them in with um, sequin mixes to, you know, tie in the red and green and to make it, you know, celebratory and fun, which that's what this story was for me. Um, my journaling says Linda and I met for brunch at Whistling Kettle. We got twin meals, which be <laughs> we got the same exact thing, which is kind of funny. Then popped into a couple local small shops downtown. We have lots in common, including our love of a good bookstore, homemade scones, and all things Ali Edwards. So that's the journaling there. Um, and what I'm going to do is then tape down two felt stars on the left and then a third felt star on the right. And then um, on the photo of Linda and I, I'm going to use this black washi from Tim Holtz last year. It just has some word phrases on it. And then a green chipboard um, piece on top that says it's the most wonderful time of year of the year. And then a red chipboard heart on top of that. Um, in the very end, I decide to add sequins to the photo of us. I don't know if that was the best choice because it definitely takes away, I think, from the picture. But it is what it is. I've already fused it together, and so it's going to stay that way. <laughs> so once I have all the felt pieces taped down with red line tape, I'm going to trim down this um, scrap paper I have left over to two by two and use that. Um, on the flip up portion of these photos. So there's the title of, you know, 
the photo slash mini title <laughs> of the restaurant and then underneath it the picture of our twin lunches and then um, I did a little bit of journaling. I ended up using these labels that I got as an add-on that are fabulous and I absolutely love and I wrote Linda met me here for brunch. We both chose the same veggie goat cheese scone and a tea quencher. Great minds. And then on the other photo of the bookstore I put I love how we both got excited about this super cute bookstore. We browsed and chatted. And I'm using those um, tags that I journaled on as like a tab. So what I end up doing is on the backside of the tag that's showing, I add the rest of that patterned paper, that striped diagonal paper, so that it's not just a white tab. And that coordinates well with the transparency on the left um, so it kind of all goes together. I love how I paid attention to tiny details on this story. Um, I took my time, you know, I watched some YouTube videos while I, I did all of this. And then I wanted to bring in the green chipboard again. So I use Holly Jolly and Marianne Bright and use those to kind of weigh down the um, photos so that they flip up still and they close because of the weight of the tab on the bottom of the picture. And then um, to kind of keep it consistent, I end up adding some washi and another green chipboard phrase on the left side. Um, and you can see that I put the chipboard heart over the O on people, um, again, to have something on the right and on the left for consistency. So uh, the phrase I chose for the left side says Santa Claus is coming to town. It just was the right size and it's fine. I don't know that anyone's really going to read the sentiment um, because it doesn't necessarily go with the story, but I was really just looking for a, a chipboard piece that was about the length I wanted um, for balance. And then once I get all of those kind of little tiny odds and ends um, tied up, I'm going to do the fun part, which is add my sequins to the um, page protectors. So now I'm going to use my bead scooper to add the um, sequins from this Diary Bell Rose mix to each of the um, empty pockets there, so three of them. I don't know which one that's called and if it's even for sale anymore, but... Um, she has an amazing Etsy shop. And then the last thing I do is add the um, sequence to the top photo, which again, don't love, but it's not like a hate situation. It's more just like, eh, did I really need to do that? Probably not. But you know, so extra as usual. So fuse the top of that, then add the washi and the chipboard on the left. And that is going to be it for this story, which was so just the best, <laughs> just the best. So thank you so much for watching this video and for being here. I really appreciate you guys hanging out and following me on this journey. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Make sure that you like this video if you did and subscribe if you're not already. I would really appreciate that. Um, I'm trying to grow my channel. So definitely going to be sharing more content as the month goes on because I'm way behind. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourselves and remember that you are enough. Bye, friends.